Are you wondering whether the narcissist who was in your life is different for New Supply? Were they a covert narcissist and you are wondering why it looks like they're have so much happier, doing so much better, and everything's just wonderful for them now that they're with New Supply? Let's talk about that. My name is Lisa Colucci and I'm here to help you understand and heal from things related to narcissists in your life. So let me know what you think in the comments. Have you had a covert narcissist in your life in the past or recently or whatever now having new supply in their life and it seems like everything is so wonderful and so much better for them than it was with you ever maybe and you're sitting there wondering what was it me was i wrong were they not toxic and i know it can be really tricky to see or to even believe or understand whether a covert narcissist acts of and displays of empathy are even real in the first place right because there's always a twist and there's always something directing everything back to self or for them to get attention or whatever it is and so it can be really tricky to even know whether what you were dealing with was a narcissist indeed or not in any case what you experienced was a toxic relationship so or you wouldn't be here wondering what happened and hit the thumbs up hit subscribe let's talk about this and with that toxic relationship you had this person who sometimes was really wonderful and sometimes would do these underhanded passive aggressive covert manipulative gaslighting avoiding tactics within the relationship which broke the relationship down probably pretty quickly once it started and the devaluing of of you became this subtle thing that looked like it was your fault the whole time so here's the thing they're with a new person and it looks amazing so do they really change do they change for new people is this the perfect thing and was it something that was wrong with you you know what no they don't really change here's what i think happens i think that in particular, the covert narcissist is so afraid of being seen for anything that they're vulnerable to, anything that they are possibly wrong about or possibly need to shift or change in themselves to have healthy relationships, anything where they are caught being the one who needs to make a change. I think they are so afraid of being seen that way. When they're with you long enough, you see they're forced to look at themselves, whether you're directly telling them or whether just the expression of hurt on your face and the in the expressions of pain that you're showing them are are in their you know it's in their awareness and it's not that they care from empathy it's not that they go oh my gosh i hurt someone and really wish to change it's that they don't want to be caught hurting someone here's something that happens though when they're with new supply that new supply is a fresh slate that new supply is a brand new individual who knows nothing about this covert hidden darkness behind them and so they are reveling in this freshness they are excited by somebody seeing them as perfect somebody seeing them as amazing because they do have that side right they have that side that knows how to appear to be giving, appear to be a listener, appear to be compassionate. And so that other person thinks that's what they are. And so they're living in this dynamic with this person who's new, where that person thinks they are amazing. And so they get to think they are amazing. They can pretend that all the other stuff either didn't happen, was your fault, was their fault, but now they've learned, was your fault, was nobody's fault. It was just, it just happened because of the relationship. They never will take the accountability to say, actually, I brought that on myself when I started gaslighting, when I can't have communication that is difficult, when I can't look at myself, right? They can't do that. But this new person isn't asking them to do that. All they're doing is reflecting the good that that narcissist is giving him. And so they can hold this for quite a while. And from the outside, it can appear amazing. When you're looking at it from the outside, it can appear perfect. And you can't even remember being there with them because maybe it was short lived or it looked completely different because you're a different person, right? That is going to make it seem like it is the best thing ever. People who have been with covert narcissists have a difficult position because all the friends that you guys knew, all the friends that narcissist has, whatever, 
don't see the narcissism. They may see like a little bit of difficulty or a little bit of personality quirks or whatever, but see covert narcissists often only target deeply those that are close to them. And so you're in this position when you are with or have been with the covert narcissist to be the only one that sees it, the only one victimized by it. And so then you're in reaction to it and you're the one that looks bad. So what happens when they're with new supply and new supply is shiny and glowing because they're only reflecting that good back, right? Because it's all they're seeing. All the friends think, well, yeah. And they say, oh, it's a good thing you left that person because look, this person's so much better. And so even the community supports that fantasy. All right, but what happens is the other shoe will drop, reality will set in, the glitter will settle in the snow globe, right? Like it will settle. Eventually the situation will get real and that new supply will begin to see and feel and have the impacts of the narcissistic manipulation coming toward them. All it takes is a moment of devaluing. And with a covert narcissist, once the devaluing starts, they cannot pull themselves back out of it and they always will pull you back down into this devaluing state. And so that will happen eventually. But the thing is, no one will see it. What will happen is that new supply will start to look sad, start to look tired, have physical issues. No one will notice until that person either sees it and gets out or, or whatever, right? But it's not, it's not what it looks like from the outside, guys. It isn't that they found someone new and everything's wonderful. This is what happens. This is what I believe what happens and what I've seen happen. So this is just a little bit of information to help you if you are really struggling with having been discarded, leaving whatever it is, a covert narcissist, and, and thinking that it's better for them or better for the new supply. It really, really isn't. It'll look like it for a little while. And hopefully by the time it has disintegrated and deteriorated for that new supply, you're long on your way to healing and you don't even care what's going on back in your past with that narcissistic person. So if you need anything, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the info in the description of every video. I will see you guys next time. Take care.